Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? How are we doing this fine, fine Brad running around all over creation morning already? So we are ready to stream, I think. Allegedly, we're present and uh, prepared to stream. We'll see. We'll see. Power Belly, 45 months of subbing. Let's go. Carly Brooks, 17 months of subbing. To subbing. Toby High emotes. Jay Schultz, 13 months of subbing. Let's go. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Brad, the answer to your question from Tuesday is yes. Nice. I even know what you mean. That's a miracle in and of itself. Aqua 2, seven months of subbing. Fanged, three months of subbing. Bloomin's Pen Club, six months of subbing. Thank you all so much. Thank you for using those prime subs right here. I like those uh, Bezos bucks. I like those Bezos bucks, fam. Although, is, are they Bezos bucks anymore? I guess so. I guess so. Who knows? Who even knows at this point what we're doing? Did I miss anybody? I think I got everybody. Love it. Love it so much. Um, well, that's scary. Do you mean this? That is scary. <laughs> Good morning. I only got primed to buy a fountain pen, so this just makes sense. Perfect. That's the way to do it. Good morning, Namiki Winter Vlad. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. How's everyone doing? I feel like, I, like I'm like i just sitting down, so I'm not like really, really prepared uh, to like roll into like uh, how I should stream this morning. <laughs> so my mind is just still a little bit scatterbrained. Um, but I'm, I'm good. Uh, Toby's here. Me and Toby are hanging out. He was ready to stream this morning. You ready to stream? He's got his toy now, so he's ready to stream. You're waiting for coffee, then I'll let you know how I'm doing. I'm going to have to reload the coffee uh, myself uh, probably after stream. So we'll do that. Um, but today, we are going to test out some of these vintage Japanese pins that I've owned for four years, maybe five, and have never tested. I bought a... Uh, you realize you're competing against the circus on Capitol Hill? This is the only circus I want to be part of. Just eating some carrot cakes, so I'm excellent. Dang, that sounds good. I could use some coffee with that, too. Wanted to watch Ted Lesso, seeing that we'll watch Vintage Fountain Pens instead. Nice. I mean, I'm not going to keep you from it. I'm not going to keep you from it. Um, I, I, I won't keep anyone from Ted Lasso. Um... So yeah, we're going to test out these pens. I have no idea what to expect here. Uh, I have no expectations. That's why I've never inked these. But I bought a basically a bulk purchase of, here's a thing. Here's all these pens. Would you like to pay this much for them? And I was like, sure. Seemed reasonable. Seemed reasonable. I paid like, I don't know, like 100 bucks for all this stuff, 150 bucks. It was not a lot for whatever this is, but then I didn't use it, which is bad shopping, chat. That's bad shopping. If you spend the money for something you don't use, we don't allow that here. We don't allow that here. So let's get right into it because um, I don't think we're going to be able to go like crazy long today. we got a busy day today. Glad you checked your phone. I almost missed the notification. I'm just glad I was on time. So we had to get... Uh, Tyler's uh, finger looked at finally. No, no. Pilot Muse, if I had any of that stuff, that stuff would have been inked up a long time ago. Eric Draws, thank you for the follow. But yeah, Tyler had to go to the ortho this morning. His finger's in good shape. So we just have to have it banded together for like four weeks. So uh, it's not bad. All things considered, about as good as it could be. So won't take long to heal. Um, he's not in pain. And it doesn't have to be casted or anything like that. So I just have to band it together. Um, all right, let's do this. Because this might take a while. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What are you looking at? Toby's spying at me from across the table. All right. So what we have here. Um, so they have lived in this, this wrap that my friend Claire made for me. How cool is this wrap? Right? It's like dude bro. It's like hipster beaver. Uh, hipster beaver fabric. It's kind of amazing. Right? Hipster beaver's got his coffee. He's lumberjacking. I don't know. He's got a cool mustache there. He's chopping some woods. Yeah, I'm down with hipster beaver. So lumberjacky. Yeah, this is really good. Love it. Exactly. 
Late notification, great dra- great rap. Yeah, this is this is your fault, Andrew, so I was hoping you're here. This is where the vintage Japanese pins live. So let's open it up and see what we got. To make you winner, Vlad. 22 months of subbing. Let's go. I watched Out of Africa last night. Robert Redford gives Meryl Streep a metal pin with a lever feeler during the movie. Does anyone know what pin that is? No, I don't. Probably like a waterman. Alright. Let's see what we got in here. Alright. So let's just start from left to right. Let's take all these out and then we'll test them. I brought in Pilot Blue Black to test with. That seemed appropriate. Um, a good performing ink, also Japanese, uh, to test most of these pens. So this is a very OG uh, Pilot Capless, aka Vanishing Point in the modern version. Um, I think there's a Isle Wind 24 months of subbing. Let's go. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. That is amazing. All the sublets. Is that a gravity-driven capless? I don't think so. Uh, although it does have a triangle here. What's the triangle for? So when you take this apart, there's actually a couple failures on the inside. Like, I don't think I can actually ink this. The uh... So yeah, I don't know if this has to be, like, is this the gravity slot so it'll, so it'll aim correctly? I don't know. There's the nib. Did you get my email regarding the spoke axle? Yes, and I have it in the shipping stash right here. So it should go out today. Um, that's the plan because I forgot it this weekend. Um, still got the old original nib unit in it. So I have never used this. It looks like it needs to be cleaned a little bit. That plastic ring looks broken. Yeah, maybe so. So yeah, I've never... Does this come off? What comes off here? No, that comes off there. So there's the converter, where the converter would go. Um, yeah. So this is like, is this broken or is this part of the notch? I don't know. Or like how the mechanics work from like gravity perspective. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, all things considered, it's in pretty good shape, right? And I can make it work. Yeah, but it seems like it's broken because um, like it doesn't always seat itself. Like a minute ago, I could get it locked in. Now I can't. But if I twist it, I can. So there you go. So it looks like a pretty fine nib. So it's a bit wonky usage-wise. how this is supposed to line up. Like, I don't know what this triangle means. It's almost like... Do you need to line up the tri red triangles? I don't know. Are there... Where's the other red triangle? I don't even know. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if something's supposed to catch on that ring too. So like triangle, the only other triangle here, there's one here on the barrel. So like, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to. So I'm not making it better. So 
So we may not dip this one just because I can't control it. Anyway, all right. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm fidgeted with that enough. <laughs> Get it repaired before you make it worse. Yeah, who knows? Um, this one was not part of the group of pens that I bought. This is uh, Mark Backus gave me this a long time ago. Probably who knows how many years ago, eight or 10 years ago at the uh, Atlanta pen show. One year he had a bunch of them and just gave me one. What's the picture on the pen roll? Pen roll? Uh, hipster beavers. So this is a uh, uh, sailor. I have used th this pen. I've actually used plenty of times um, because that has a great nib. You can fit uh, sailor cartridges in here. And it's got a really, really extra fine. These are the ones that you can um, that you can still buy at pen shows. They made so many of these. You can get these for like 40, 40 or 50 bucks. And they're totally worth it. They just write really, really well. They're a cool design. You know, that's a short pen. Yeah, like it's a short long, a long short. I have a proper pilot long short in here um, with the telescoping barrel. Um, so yeah, this 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 is a pen that you can find today for like usually less than 50 bucks and it's just in great shape. It's got a great nib. I think these are gold nibs even. Right? I don't aren't these like 14k nibs? I don't cuz I don't think they're steel nibs. A little late. What are these pens? Vintage. Yeah, these are some older Japanese pens. So that one will hold off. Um this one's not even a um fountain pen this is a pilot this one isn't that old this one's probably i don't know probably only from like the 90s but it's just a uh a platinum multi it's a platinum excuse me it's a platinum multi-pen but i forget how it works is this gravity yeah so this is a gravity uh this is a two plus one no yeah no this is a two refill one ballpoint one pencil so ballpoint is the square side that ejects the ballpoint, release on the cap, and then the pencil side is the triangle. So then there's a pencil, probably a 0.5. Yeah, everyone made the same pen at the same time. These Here's a whole stash of them. So this one is a Sailor again. So Sailor, Sailor, Pilot platinum yeah so here's a sample of all of them platinum pilot sailor sailor so the all the same kind of concept and you can get like i said you can get these at pen shows now or online they're very common for like 40 to 50 but <laughs> responding to my email now nice so these are all like 50 bucks or something or less and they're just really great pens great writers Sticker on the vintage pen. Yeah, because it's probably going to be hard for me to take off. So I just leave it on there. So I've used this pen before too. So this is the Pilot Elite. the One of the original Elites or the old school Elites. Now they make it, it's the Pilot 95. Or 95, what do they call it? E95, 95E? Fire will take care of that sticker. Fire will fire will take out care of a lot of things. So that cap is actually hard to get on there. So this one's longer. You can see they all have a different theory. E95, thank you. They all have a different theory on how to design this. So the pilot one is very long. And the sailor one is... That's a lot shorter in fountain pen terms. That's... A pretty sizable difference in pen length. I prefer the shorter one, of course. And then platinum. Um, they all did just so many of these. For comparison completeness, can you pull out your Mew to show? Yeah. I don't have a Mew. I have an M90 and a Murex, but I will grab those. Um... So Platinum's is a little bit wider diameter barrel. So they all had their own theories on how to make these. Weird, they all went semi-hooded on the nib. Yeah, and they're all 14. This one's an 18K nib. This one's an 18K nib. Inking all these pens later? No, but um, these down here, these are the ones I want to test. 
this whole conversation came up when we were talking about Japanese eyedroppers, and I said I had a traditional Japanese eyedropper, which I think is this one. Um, let me get the M90 and the Murex out, though. So this was um, probably a lot of these these came before the Murex. This is, I mean, the Mew. This is not a Mew. This is an M90. So this was in the 2000s. But the Mew came out in 1971 or so, I believe. I think some of these, maybe not these specific ones, but they started making these designs in the 60s. But these are probably more like 70s and 80s styles. Do these count in the 100? No. Just because I'm not. I don't ever use them. So this is the M90, which is based on the Mew. Yeah, those nibs are pretty soft because they're thin and they're gold, so they flex a little bit. Yeah, these count. These count. And then this is the Murex. This is the goat pen. This is the one for me, chat. Class, 33 months of subbing. Let's go. All right. So these are all kind of one style of pen there. And then this one is older. I'll show you. This one is the neat one in the group. This is actually a true pilot long short. <laughs> Mu greater than Murex. Uh, can we get a ban for head full of ideas? Ban head full <laughs> timeout 10 seconds. That is incorrect. Incorrect head full of ideas. Um, so this is a true long short in that it has a telescoping barrel. So you can um, adjust it this way, depending on your writing, right? So I can uh, lengthen or shorten. So when you hear like long, short, this is kind of really how it came from. If one wanted an M90 Murex, what should you expect to drop on it and where would you look? I don't know where I would look besides a pen show. An M90 is going to cost you probably $400 um, just because it's modern and limited. The Murex, you can find probably a good refurb Murex for like $250, i am guessing. So yeah, this was the uh, original long, short design right where you can just adjust it um and just put your converter in there so this is like a uh real like little button pushing button push converter um so it's capped it's just the right length to fit in there to give you that extra space if you want it so there you go muse have been selling hella pricey the vintage muse, yeah. There's just enough of them though that if you if you were patient, you could still get one decent price. So I've never used this one. Wow, it even says the nib is split in the tines. I'm probably not gonna be able to see that. So look how. Let's see if we can get this here. I want to show you. Uh, it's not going to show you. So see how far the, the tines go all the way in there? And on the left side, it says P-I-L, and the other side says O-T. I, I, haven't, I guess I haven't seen Pilot split across the tines like that before. It's kind of funky. Can't really make it out there. Dog. No notification. There were a couple uh, people that didn't get the notifications. Why do you prefer the Murex over the M9? I like the length of the barrel. The length of the barrel works for me. All right, so that's the long and short of it. All right, this is where we get into the interesting ones. There, well, there's only, really, this one's probably the most interesting. So can you read that here? Can you make that out? I know Connor is just terrible. Terrible. Can you read that? 
if you can't read that. It says Sailor. So this is the 2023 North America limited edition for um, Thursday, March the 23rd. So, <laughs> so that's the uh, that's this day's limited edition Sailor uh, for the North American market. But like it's just just faded old looking thing. I don't even know what kind of material that is. It's got a really wild sailor nib and feed on here. So we got the sailor nib with a really crazy feed. Uh, yeah, I guess this is ebonite. Do you smell camphor inside the cap? Yeah, I guess it's ebonite. It does smell rubbery. It's not strong though. So this nib says, let me read all this stuff on this nib. I can't make it out. Highest grade non-corrosion special made it's got a pretty solid crack in here too that's cool so yeah really really strange strange sailor nib it's never been cleaned or inked but look this is how this whole thing happened. Japanese eyedropper. Still works. No, it's not a crack in the ebonite. There's a crack in the nib down here at the bottom. So, pretty, pretty rad, huh? Oh, and it's got something on the barrel here. I don't know if I'll be able to read that. So yeah, this is what this this is how this conversation started. This is an old vintage Japanese eyedropper. There's no way that this seal is gonna work, but that's fine. This is just something I have sitting in the closet of doom. Uh, let me see what this barrel says if I can read it. I think it's just the Sailor Circular logo. It's pretty worn. Yeah, it's completely worn out through the middle. Hush. How bad will it be? Worth trying out? Maybe. So, yeah, I don't know what the story is behind this nib. Feels like a steel nib. Does the writing on the barrel line up with the nib? You know it does. It's right here. Right through the middle. So what do y'all think it, the story behind this nib is? I mean, it's not gold. It's, it feels like steel. Shush. So this one we're going to dip test. I might want to rinse the nib a little bit. So I might go get, go get something for that in a minute. All right. So that's this is the cool pin. This is the cool pin out of here. Then we have these other two. I think one's a pilot and one's generic maybe. Yeah, the story with the nib shape. Like what's the idea behind that pin? Any idea from what year? No. I don't know if there's a dated... Excuse me. Um, so I think this is a generic pen. Thank you. I don't know if I can date this pen other than having a visual match. There are some characters on here that I can't make out because it's pretty worn. Um, this looks like a pilot, but I think it's just like a generic. 
Oops. Sorry. So this one I want to test out too. This is just a regular, I don't know, it almost looks like a pilot, but it's not. I'll have to, I wonder if I can, can anyone read those characters that's in this chat? I don't know if that helps or not. But I think it's just kind of like a cheap brand. <clears throat> Old converter. Yeah, I think it's just kind of like a copycat type of pen. <clears throat> and I think this one might be a pilot. Yeah. So look at that. Check this out, chat. There it is. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Pilot. This is like some lever filled Parker copy type of pilot. This one's pretty neat too. So, old sack for the lever might actually be functional. We're not gonna try that though. Looks very sketchy. So the nib says, warranted pilot 14K number three made in Japan. Warranted pilot. What's funny is it has pilots in quotes. That's funny. 14K, then it's got a three in there. It's a really pretty three. And kind of like a bracket. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Y'all probably can't see all that here because it's pretty dull. So we'll dip test this one too. So these I want to test. All right. So let me. Uh, so that's it. So that's the uh, the bulk of this little container. And like I said, these are the interesting ones. Really, these two, um, the pilot and the sailor, are pretty cool. Um, I don't think this is a gold cap or anything. It just feels like a uh, aluminum. What are you gonna dip with? I'm gonna put my hands up on my hip. <laughs> So yeah, this just feels like aluminum, like gold plated or something. Nice dings and dents on there. It's really pretty. I love this clip design. <clears throat> so we're gonna do that. Uh, I am gonna dip with uh, Pilot Blue Black. Is that fine or do you want me to go get my Waterman? Will that stress you out? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I'm on dad joke day today. I guess because I was with my son too long this morning. I am going to go get some water real quick. I want to rinse these out. I almost shouldn't... Uh, I almost shouldn't dip these straight in the bottle. I almost should like... Because I don't know if I want to get crudola in the bottles. Who knows what's living in these things. Hmm. Do I have a loose sample? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... Do I have an inkwell? Maybe. Yeah, careful putting the ebonite in water. I'm going to go find a vial get some water. I might just use like a uh, like a wet paper towel just to kind of like clean the nibs a little bit and figure out like a dipping situation so I don't have to go straight in the bottle because I still have, oh, this is over half full. I don't want to ruin this bottle. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put up the BRB screen. I'm going to come back. We're going to do a giveaway just so we can go ahead and knock that out. And then we're going to get into this. Sound good? 
All right, I will be right back. If I can find that screen. There it is. All right, see you on a second. I know I have to fix the thing, the, the Twitter thing on there. Settle down. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I think I have enough. I think I have enough accessories to do this correctly or more safe, more safely. All right, let's do a giveaway before I continue, or else it might be a while. Go. Naper villain, 28 months of subbing. Let's go. Critical damage. Thank you for the follow. If you like how I said that. C -c -c Critical damage. Critical damage. Oh, let's do this. Y'all are going to think this is a lame giveaway, but I'm pretty excited about it. This is not a lame giveaway. Can your BRB screen still have spinning chair in its place? We just need to get a new BRB screen. I should get um, Sleepy to do that. All right. This is like a $10 pen, so like it's expensive relatively, but not really. But this is the Barney pen, chat. This is the OG Barney pen from the Barney pen review. This is the I love you. I love me. I love you. Since we were doing that yesterday, since we were playing with the uh, markers yesterday, if y'all missed that, this is what the new Barney markers are like, which is a pretty fresh. This is the original Barney uh, ballpoint. Uh, is this a ballpoint? This might be a gel. Anyway, this is a great pen. Like, this is a legitimately good pen. Um, so yeah, let's give it away. But this is the one from the review on the blog. 
hand used by me, personally touched. It's not Barney Purple, I know, but it's just the name. It's just the name of the, the pen. They're all the Barney. It's the whole Barney lineup of pens. I love me. I love you. Pin. <laughs> All right, let's give this away. Hey, thank you, Natural Ginger Ale. A friend of the stream in here, I don't think they're in here right now, uh, made that for me. It is Hipster Beavers. Personally touched by the pen addict, Brad Dowdy. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide thanks to the kindness and generosity of you. Sending those Bezos bucks my way. Um, you must be present to win, and you must email me your shipping address so I know how to send it to you. So there you go. <clears throat> All right, so while we're doing that, I'm going to relocate a couple of these things. Any tips on figuring out which material old pins are made of without knowing the year of production and manufacture? I am the last person to be able to manage that type of question. I sure don't know. Oh, don't think using wax is wise. What are you talking about? Cleaning ebonite? Gotcha. <laughs> All right, we got this, we got this, we got this. We'll work on these pins first. This, all kinds of stuff going on behind the scenes over here. All right, I've got about 10 seconds left. This is like a 0.5 or a 0.4 tip size, if I'm not mistaken. This is a, such a good pen, I just never use it. <laughs> it says EF on the refill. That's funny. All right, winner, pick a winner. Class, class 24, if you are in the chat, let's go. Let's go, congratulations, class. This one is for you. This might be a ballpoint. No, that's a gel. Or is that a ballpoint? I bet it's a ballpoint. I bet it's Acroball. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chat. Class, email me your shipping address. I will ship this out today. When I'm done streaming, I am shipping today. No shipping stream. Check this out, ch chat. Class, check this out. The last the last of the row sushi. That means we're getting there, chat. We're almost out of all the questionable sushis. Last... Last one. Last one, chat. <laughs> this is so questionable. What is even happening here? Props to Twitch for the late notifications. Apparently, it is late notification day, uh, Dormouse Desk. A bunch of people did not get them. Way more than normal uh, conversation around notifications today. All right, here's what we got going. You have some mango chutney. Nice. I'm going to see Mr. Mango Chutney this weekend, or next weekend, I should say. All right. So what we're going to do here is we have our pilot blue black. I'm going to put probably way too much into this. 
I guess the people that got laid off were in charge of notifications, right? So there was like 400 Twitch employees yesterday in the Amazon or two days ago in the Amazon thing. Sucks. I wonder how many people have given him mango chutney. I imagine he has a shelf. <laughs> I It's just what he uses to write. The That's his, that's his test word. Like mine is over friendly concierge. His is mango chutney. That's his gets the letters right for his testing. All right, so I'm gonna put way too much Pilot Blue Black ink into this vial so I can, this is gonna work, right? Yeah, this should work. Cub Fan Marte, 20 months of subbing, let's go. Getting a video of writing that fra phrase is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so when you, a lot of times, um, he will send you, when he does work for you, he will send you a video before he returns the pen of him writing it over and over and over again and explaining what he did to the nib. All right, so let's do this a little bit like this. We have a pretend vial holder that I'm just going to use so I don't knock stuff over. This is, a, this is a 3D prototype pen holder that Brian made where you can like move around the magnets and make different shapes, but we never did anything with that. Maybe we should one day. Mango Chutney is Mark Bacchus, AKA uh, the Nib Grinder. Hey, El Bloom Mekon. Yeah, I mean, maybe eventually we'll make like a, um, you know, you can buy different parts and different pieces and make it all into like a shape that you want kind of thing. It's really cool. All right, let me do this first. So I have an A4 Marmon spiral pad here. This is Pilot Blue Black. We're just gonna probably overfill this to a degree, but that's okay. I'm not that worried about it. This is an ink I use so much that I'll probably just need to buy a bigger bottle one day. But now, it's it's really, you know, obviously for pens, but it fits these vials perfectly, so now I have something to dip in. What I want to do first is I at least want to get this nib into some water. These have never been touched by me since I've owned them, so who knows what kind of crud is in here. That's why we've separated the ink out of the bottle. I don't want to dip these straight in the bottle and like little ink rings are coming right off of here. I'm not getting the ebonite wet. I just wanna see really kind of what's up here. So this was definitely a good idea not to, uh, not to put in the ink bottle because there is stuff coming off of here. Very lightly. And this is something I'm never gonna get all the way clean on this stream, right? Um, there's just too much. Um, it, it needs a lot more cleaning, a lot more in-depth cleaning, but this is why we didn't put it right into the, right into the, uh, pilot bottle. So it would need to be soaked, maybe ultrasonic. I don't have the soda bottle yet, but I will, that's the next one I'll buy is, uh, I want to dip my nibs in it. $240 worth of pudding. Oh yeah. That's my greatest uh, the state skit. I'm Barry, and this is Levon. So I do want to take a little bit of this out, but it's 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 pretty dirty. So I would have to really think about how to clean this pen if I wanted to. If I want to do it right. Ink to pen with Pelican Blue Black yesterday. Nice. Someone sent me an Amazon link. You can get it off Amazon US now for like 10 bucks. I'm not going to go too far because it really doesn't matter because I'm going to throw out this ink when I'm done. But I do want to get a little bit of this off. That's why I'm being weird about it. And I will just kind of run this shim through. That was pretty clean. I got platinum carbon ink cartridges for my Secure Preppy. That is, number one, the Secure Preppy is great. Number two, platinum carbon black. That's got to be, 
I think plat pilot blue black and platinum carlet carbon black are probably in like the top five inks of all inks. Especially like standard inks. I did hear a rumor chat. Y'all want to hear an unsubstantiated rumor that you can't that you can't tie my name to? Y'all gotta promise me you're not gonna say that Brad said. You can't say that Brad said, okay? I need y'all to sign off on that. No, Darrow. Darrow's gonna get banned. Um, so the first part, I don't think, I think it's fine. I think, so one, Platinum is making new inks. Like, new pl Platinum's finally which is something I've been yelling for forever, is going to make a new standard ink lineup, which is fine. I think that's pretty like a pretty obvious, like that's not much of a secret. The secret chat, the secret that you did not hear from me, allegedly, and I don't know this, this is a fact, allegedly, allegedly chat, you didn't hear this from me, Platinum is making an alternate to carbon black that is going to be Vanta Black-esque. You did not hear that from me. And it may not come true. So they're going to... They are throwing down on the carbon black lineup and are going to have... And are going to have the... Uh, the wicked doc. So, you did not hear that here, and it may not be a fact. Okay? Promise me. I don't want to hear that Brad said. I don't want to hear that Brad said this is going to happen. I don't want to hear it. All right, I think I've messed with this enough. I don't want to hear my name attached to that at all. But, if it comes true, you can say you heard it here first afterwards. Afterwards, you can say that. Only if it comes true. Otherwise, you need to keep that information to yourself. It would be, it would, they would not be able to, no one can use the Vanta Black name without licensing it, unless you're Anish Kapoor. So, it wouldn't be, but it's, you know, it's like Vanta Black like. All right. Oh, wow. This is really wide. I should have looked at the nib. Wow. Okay, it is not made for any type of flexing. It tears the paper. All right, let me let me uh, redo this real quick. I need to look at this nib. It is this is not a flexy nib. It's just a pointy nib, and I think I just put some fibers right into it. Do not flex this nib, chat. I think this is just more of like the pointy nib. Who owns the name? The company that made Vanta Black. I, it's a some scientific company. Some chemical company. I can't remember their name. Okay. Here's the deal. It's flat. So it's almost like it's been snipped off, but without being snipped off, I think that's just the nature of it. So it hooks down into a flat point. So it's like, it's like that. No tipping whatsoever. So as long as I keep it at exactly the flat angle, it's smooth, but I can't turn it at all. Hmm. So now what are we thinking? You think only for art? I mean, it is very restrictive.
You can hear it if when I'm not when I'm not aligned. Listen. This is a vintage uh, Sailor eyedropper pen that we were talking about. So this is is. It's like it comes to like a point like that, and so I have to hit it at the exact angle, or you hear the scrape. Hmm. I just want to say, Brad, that new nib you sent me from Icon Poly is perfect, and the pin feels incredible. Good. That happens sometimes. Thank you. Sorry it was uh, not right the first time. Try cursive. I, I can't write in cursive. Oh, God. It's not enjoyable. It's, this is not enjoyable to write with. It's like if you cut off the end of a pipe just straight across and then tried to aim it exactly where it should be. I wonder why. Because this doesn't look... It looks manufactured that way. It This doesn't look like an aftermarket, like someone actually like cut the nib. It looks like manufactured that way. So that's not really tipping. You have to use like the end of the pen to get like the rounded part on there. Let's see. I can't really show you. So there's no rounding to it. Yeah, you could get someone to modify it and just round it off. No, I'm not going to get anyone to look at it. I don't, I'm not going to use this pen, probably. Where did this vintage haul come from? The Chicago Pen Show in like 2018 or 2019. Yeah, Archie Tusk, I was wrong about that. And it turns out you can still get them. You have to buy the mini nibs, the Twisby mini nibs. And that's what they use in there. And you can get those. Um, we did find at Stilo and Stile, you can get the Eco Loose nibs. All right. Uh, all right. Not a fan. All right. Let's move on to the pilot. And hopefully it's better. All right. Let's leave that there for a second. Get rid of this because it's gonna bug me. <clears throat> yeah, it's really limiting. Very limiting, in fact. You know what this is like? And Carol and I discussed this on front of the show. It's like if you had a repeatograph that did not have the edges cut off. It's just a flat pipe at the end. That's the angle that this that this is at. 
Okay, so now we're gonna do this pilot. This is a lever filler. Um, maybe a little bit of flex nib. This might be the best nib out of this batch. This looks, at least looks like a real nib with real tipping and real shape. Yeah, this could be good. This could be good. You look like a real nib with tipping in shape. Just my hair. My hair has better shape than that nib. That's a fact. I like my little makeshift uh, inkwell. Maybe a little flex. This is at least nice. Yeah, this thing's good. I had a dream that Brad was 85 but looked just the same. We're tracking that way. <clears throat> All right, this one's actually worth a little bit of a close-up here. We we'll actually have something with this one, chat. This one's the real deal. I've started collecting quotes and want to be able to write them in a notebook and save them. Do you have any suggestions in or ink that would help make it last as long as possible? So you definitely want to use like an archival ink, um, which you can get iron gall inks or pigmented inks. Um, or you can use something like if you want to go with black, we talk about platinum carbon black here a lot. That's a permanent pigmented ink. Um, using an acid-free paper in combination with those inks, you should have like forever permanence, right? Um, yeah, so the only kicker is you do need to manage your pen maintenance if you're using that winter bane. Um, you know, as long as you're using your pen regularly, I haven't heard that temporally. That would be cool. Temporally said it first. I did hear that. So yeah, you're looking for, there's plenty of permanent ty type fountain pen inks. Some are more, some are tougher on your pens than others. Um, but I wouldn't hesitate to pick out like any iron gall, document ink, permanent ink, things like that. Okay, Mafia Geek. I'm looking at three options for which to ink. A Nakaya Kikyo Blue with a SF nib, a Lamy 2000 EF nib, or a Pilot 823 F nib. 
as a Nakaya Kikyo Blue owner, I'm picking that one 100% of the time. As an owner of all three of those pins, This pin might be worth getting restored. Or using this nib for something. This nib is sweet. Yeah, that's just a good old Pilot Vintage nib. I'm digging it. Platinum Carbon Black would totally work. And it's platinum carbon black for all the pigmented inks. The one reason why I like recommending it a lot is because it's pretty easy to clean. Like it can sit in a pen for a while. And then when if you need to clean it just to like get a fresh ink in it or switch the cartridge, it's easy to clean. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Flatirons from Ingo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. So yeah, this nib is a winner. Big win, big win. Big, big win right here. Like, I should do something with this. The sailor was a letdown. The pen's not. I like the pen design. Um, and this pen design is not great, but this nib is pretty great. I think you can pick up these vintage nibs for not that much, right? These Pilot Vintage 14K nibs. They're not that expensive, right? Like, pretty inexpensive, like, relatively speaking, like $40, $50? Am I delusional? This is not a market I mess in, so I don't know. Can someone else... Yeah, you can pick them up cheaply, right? Like, this is... I'm saying this is an enjoyable, not like it because it's fancy, right? It's pretty cheap. Can make me a modern pen around that nib? Yeah, like, this is a nice nib. I, I enjoy it. But this is like your basic barrel here. Like, you can see, like, this is the filling system. Boop. <laughs> so, like, it's not fancy at all. This is like an entry-level pen. Also, a ton of gold nib pocket pens around that price point, too. Yeah, I have some of those here. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's just an enjoyable writer, right? And you can get that nib really inexpensively. Like, if this pen was, like, perfectly restored and perfectly everything's new sack you know, really cleaned up, there's no way it's a hundred bucks, right? Like this is like a basic, basic pen. It's not a fancy pen. It would, you would be paying for the time someone spent to restore it other than like what the pen is worth, right? Where this one is actually probably a more interesting pen. I just think the nib, the nib and feed just actually kind of blows. Like I would like it's unusable to me. It's just cool looking. All right. Um let's see what this is. I still don't know. Like this is a very, very cheap cheap pen. I'll test it, but this is just like straight up generic across the board. And it's probably not even that old. Probably like 70s or 80s. Where this this actually looks decently old with the old Sailor logo. Show that a pen to Mike Wyatt, the Atlanta Pen Show. This one? Which one? The Sailor eyedropper? Reefer pin up. Let's go. Thank you for the follow. Just arrived and off topic, but I want to ask before I forget and they sell out. Brad, did you manage to get the Pilot Sweet Juice Milk set? No, I did not. But no, I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'm more fun. I'm more enjoying the name of it. But uh, thank you, Tainted Crimson. I did get the, uh, the good morning and good afternoon sets. I just wanted to give them away. I didn't mess. I don't need them. I just wanted to give them away. All right, let's see what this is. I still, like, can I Google Translate these characters? Will this pick up? 
Let's see if I can pick this up. Da, na, 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 na. He will insta pie the pilot juice sweet tea set. I'm not a sweet tea drinker. Can't even pick this up. Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not. A, I don't like sugary drinks. I will drink unsweet tea. Hmm. Yeah, it, it can't pick this up. Is that legal in Georgia? I know. I used to get grief from my, uh, when I was dating my now wife, and even for like the, probably the first decade of our marriage, they would always have tea for dinner, right? Sweet tea for dinner, and I'd just have water or, or unsweet, whatever. Use the Zoom magnifier app. I should just put it on Instagram and see if someone can translate it for me. I think it's just because of the, the lighting and the curvature. All right, let's test this nib out, though. I don't know what it is. It looks pretty fine. I'm sure it's, it's steel, probably. It at least looks like it's in good shape. This definitely feels like steel. There is no give to this at all. This feels just like a standard Japanese fine nib. Or like a fine steel. Like if you told me this was a fine steel pilot nib, I would believe you. Very basic. No line variation. No give whatsoever. Not even particularly smooth. You can definitely feel the basicness, basicness of it. I tried looking up some characters you had before and it said Saturn. Um, do you want me to show them to you again? See if we can get them in here. I don't know if it's the same characters on the nib as it is the cap. So now look up and see if there's a Saturn pin. Yeah. So what is that uh, translate to? Thank you, Atalane. Venus. So is there such a thing as a Venus pin? I think the only one left that I want to dip test is this uh, short long. Pinex Special Edition 1938. Let's see this one real quick. This is a neat pen. Ooh, this one definitely had black ink in it. 
I'm back in a bit in the love with this pen. Which one? The short long? These are pretty cheap too. Or inexpensive, relatively. Yeah, it's not as thin as the other ones. The uh, platinum one isn't as thin as the others either. Can this just take a cartridge? Can this one come off? Yeah. I don't know if that will fit the same pilot cartridge or not. I don't know how much the diameters have changed over the years. Yeah, the short long. They're pretty neat. And you can get some different colors in them. Um, and it's just it's just cool, right? It's just a cool, cool design. I don't know. They should remake this design. They never brought this one back from when they first did it. So. It's not like a Mew or a Murex or something like that when they first did it. Ooh. This is flexy. But not... Okay, this is soft, but not that flexy. Oh man, this is like, ooh, this one's kind of fancy. It's very, very fine. Is there a model name? I think literally pilot short long or long short. I don't know though. Yeah, one tine is definitely longer than the other, but I could fix that. There's a huge gap to the feed. Yeah, definitely out of alignment. I like how I'll wait till after I ink them up to like look at this these things. But this could be cleaned up pretty easily. This nib is very soft. That's probably why it's bent. It's not that flexy, but man, it does feel soft. I could get this fixed. You can see the gap here. You see there's a pretty good gap between the feed. That's just gonna affect the flow of the ink, right? You want that feed to be touching the nib that helps with ink delivery through the tines, right? So that's pretty unhealthy. <sighs> I buy and use fleck nibs because I like the softness. I don't flex. That's exactly what I do. These pens came from a group of pens that I bought at the Chicago Pen Show in like 2019, 2018. For like, I don't know, it was like 100 bucks, 150 bucks, just got all these pens. But this nib, this, yeah. This could be a cool one. The nib's just out of alignment. Just use some shimmer, I know. All right, cool. I think that's the last one I'm gonna test. The, the other ones don't need to be tested. I'm not gonna test the vanishing point. You know what, if Martin is there, I should just give him the vanishing point. <laughs> I should give Martin this vanishing point, shouldn't I? I bought three pins from Fountain Pen Hospital, three pins in a bag for 52. I have gold nims. I'm going to play and learn and see if I can get them working again. That's exactly how you should do it, Ali Mall. Just buy something. Don't spend too much. Get it in bulk. Um, so you're don't not worrying about you know making a mistake or messing around with. Pretty cool. All right, let's do, what time is it? Yeah, let's do another giveaway. Wow, this is really inky all of a sudden. Yeah, he at least has van vintage vanishing points, so maybe he has parts that could fix it. Give the VP to Marty. Marty who? 
Yeah, Bacchus could probably fix the long short. God, this is really holding ink. Who's Marty? Oh, okay, Martin. Martin, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we're on the same page, yeah. Martin invited me to sit with him and learn stuff. I might take him up on it. You should. He is my recommended repairer for most people. Um, okay, let's do another giveaway. Let me put this up. Let's give one of these away. You get to pick. All right. So we'll go through them here real quick before I do the giveaway. So I'm going to keep the sailor. I'm keeping this one because it was a gift to me from Bacchus. Plus, I like the color. That's cool. And I've used it plenty. It, it works really well. These I have not used or tested. All right. I'll get you a new page here. Yeah, y'all have time to uh, butter up the raffle bot. Let's do a new page here just so you can see what I'm showing you. And you can, um, you can pick out whichever one you want. All right, so first up, so we have one from each of the brands. There's nothing, there's no one of these that I don't think is more special than the other ones, right? So you just kind of want to pick what you think looks cool um, or has like a feature that you like. I think they're all essentially kind of like same quality price type of stuff like that. So this is the platinum one. This one has an 18K nib. It's got a little little shape on the <clears throat> on the clip. I have never inked any of these up. The thing, this one looks unused, so the sack is clear and the feed is clear, right? So this one might not have ever been used, right? Can you see? So this is this is a clear feed and it's not stained. So maybe this one's never been used, I don't know. 18 karat nib. All of these are going to be like a fine Japanese nib. Okay, so platinum. Pilot Elite. So same idea here. A little bit different nib design, but same concept, right? A little bit narrower fractionally than the Pilot, um, than the platinum, excuse me. Um, I believe these are 14K nibs in the elites. I could be wrong. And this one's an extra fine. It's actually marked here on the sticker. All right. Um, the sack is darker here, so this one's probably been used. But it looks like it's in just, like there's no like ink standing on the feet or anything like that. Like it looks like really good shape. It looks like it's never been used, but it might. Are you afraid to take that sticker off? This one I would be. Like I wouldn't bother taking this sticker off. It looks cool. Like I'm fine with vintage stickers. The more you use it, the cooler it'll look. Yeah, I wouldn't take that off. It doesn't line up, but it's a sticker. Can these use cartridges? Um, some of these should remove. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to pull too hard. Um, sack only. Platinum comes out. That's a pretty tight seal, though. Platinum's cartridges are wider than that. So this might you might just have to use this and syringe fill it because I'm not sure that a platinum cartridge, if that'll post or not. You can test it. That pilot one probably comes out, but I'm not going to yank on it. All right, then the last one is a sailor. 
Um, it's got the silvery cap. It's plastic though, right? This isn't like a silver stainless cap. Low beer, thank you for the follow. So this like plastic, like a little guilloche pattern on here. So this one's the sailor one. Um, it says F1 on the nib. Um, what does it say on here? Made in Japan. Can't tell. Um, so it looks like it's been inked, you know, with like blue ink also comes out. That looks like a normal sailor size fitting. So they probably all come out in some way, shape or form. So these could be extra fine. I don't know. I have not used or tested any of these. Okay. So I'm going to put up a, put up a giveaway and then whoever wins can pick whichever one that they want. Um, like I said, just go for the style or aesthetic. I don't think there's actually any like value or rarity difference in any of these. I think they're all kind of like similar. Okay. <clears throat> so let me set this up. All right, we'll do vintage pocket pen. All right, this giveaway is open. Exclamation point raffle. You have your choice of those vintage pocket pens. Eight. Eight. And I think we will wrap it after this, Chad. I need to get going today. <clears throat> Got a lot of writing to do. I think I'm going to publish a members article today, the uh, um, the monthly Chronicles post. Um, I did a draft of that, so I should have time to finish that today. And then I I got to get working on tomorrow's work too. So, And I got to do shipping. So I'm going to the shipping department after this. Hey, thank you, JD lady. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being awesome. Yeah, that was my voice. Just seeing what else is going on out here. Will the shipping manager be joining? Yes, he will join me today because I probably only have like an hour or so, so he can hang with me for a while. He's all curled up now, taking a nap. He'll be excited to go ship for a minute. Right on by the river. Have you fixed the OSHA violation? <laughs> Maybe not. Oof. I have a question. Were there pins that use a lever to fill them? Was that only in cartoons? So this is how you shoot pen and so this is how you shoot ink in people's dyes. So great question, great question, Commander Salamander. So this is how you do it. So there's a rubber sack on the inside, so it just like push it down and squirt, but like not like that. And Isos Deuce, first time watching, I learned so much about pens between yourself and reading chat. Hey, I really appreciate you coming in and hanging out. We have fun here. We don't take ourselves too seriously. Um. We like to have fun with pens and stationery. It should be fun. And everyone here is welcome from any experience level. Um, so, yeah. There you go. Management did get angry. Maybe the OSHA inspectors were here. So, yeah. This is how you uh, boop, do it. Do you customize the spoke Model 2 sleeves? We do not. You cannot pick and choose those. Because they are they are fixed in a more rigid manner, if you will, I guess. So much fun. Totally enjoy the streams. Thank you, Thorpe Cat. Yep, so that's a real thing, Commander Salamander. That is, um, it wasn't the most common filling system, but it was pretty popular, like in the 
early to mid 1900s, it was a popular way to fill your fountain pens. I just don't think it's like technically <laughs> that great of an idea nowadays. Oh, that giveaway's up. Major Bedlam with the gifted sub. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's do this giveaway, and we're going to figure out what we can pick. Weekend plans, I have a big pickleball tournament shocked Pikachu face. It should take all weekend, so I got to get all my work done. And then next weekend's the Atlanta Pen Show, so I just have like a lot of just general work to do between not being able to work these next two weekends, really. There are no pickleball emotes. We should do one. I will do one. <laughs> Anonymous with the gifted sub. Let's go. Commander Salamander, thank you for the follow. Appreciate y'all very, very much for hanging out today. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We're going to see John Wick 4. I haven't seen John Wick 1, 2, or 3, but I know I would like them. Y'all are going to yell at me now that, Brad, you should see those. And I, I agree. I should see those. All right, let's pick a winner. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? What is pickleball? Um, I'll have to send you a link, but it's basically like <clears throat> it's a court sport that's kind of like a combination of tennis and ping pong. Like if you shrunk tennis and expanded ping pong, that's what pickleball will be. Um, it's fun. Oh, do they play on shrinking? I haven't watched that yet. All right, I'm picking a winner. Pick a winner. Yes, the ball has holes. Monguiso, Monguiso, are you present to win? Not first time winner, but oh wow, is right. Oh wow, let's go. Let's go. Are you a first time winner or no? I feel like not. First timer, let's go, yes. All right, now comes the hard part. That was the easy part was winning. Now you have to pick a pen. I'll help you again. Platinum. Does the pickleball curve like a wiffle ball to a much smaller degree? So it's got thicker walls, so it spins and moves, but not in a massive amount. I'll show y'all, I'll find a little pickleball um, clip for y'all to see. Then we have the pilot in the middle with the elite. These have the more hooded nibs than the inset nib. I have learned that normal balls in the U.S. will have pickleball courts. Not really. They have some specialty bars, though. It's a big it's a big court-ish, big-ish court. And then we have the sailor with the silver cap, plastic silver cap. So don't think it's like a sterling silver cap. And then more of an inlaid nib. So, like, there's no wrong answer. I wouldn't lead you one way or the other. Um, this is the most uh, famous style. And then these are just, like, two super unique styles. And go with the platinum so the platinum is good it's a slightly wider and bigger pin it feels more like a standard pin when you hold it so i think that could be good and i like the fact that this uh converter comes out really easily this platinum this pilot may not come out at all so we're gonna go with platinum all right that's very cool Now I'm singing Fugazi. All right, so hang on, let me get this squared away. Yeah, the clip, the platinum clip looks cool. I think it has the coolest clip. All right, Manguiso, email me your shipping address, hello at pinag.com. Check this out, I showed y'all this the other day. Uh-oh, is this the last one too? We are in a sushi situation here. Is this halibut? Yeah, you can hear me singing it. Like, that's the... Oh, that's the last one. Last. Oh, man, we are in a sushi, sushi situation here. I mean, I was in the waiting room this morning, and, like, that's the easiest, like baseline ever to just like get stuck in your head all right yeah so that clip is pretty neat all right all right let me find y'all a i'll find y'all a pickleball clip real quick 
and then we'll uh, wrap it up for the day. <laughs> Cap spoke pencil. How big is the mechanism? How short can you make the body? Um, that is a technical challenge we are playing around with right now. How can, what's the, the minimum and the maximum measurements to actually do that well, right? Without making something stupid. Can you make me a black flag logo roadie? That would probably be reasonably simple. I don't know that I would agree to do it, even though I like you. <laughs> That's one of those can of worm type of situations. But maybe the next time, can you get carry guts? You cannot. So that is the challenge. I want my purple axle. <clears throat> Whoops, I went to the wrong place. Um, the next time I actually go to Brian's house, maybe we could get there. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all one clip, it's one minute. Where's my pen? Um, so that's the size of the court and it's a mixture of slow and fast play, right? So there's small, then there's fat, there's slow, then fast stuff. So this is what I look like when I play. Just kidding. So this is an abnormally long point. That's why it's a clip. So that was it. So the last guy hit it long. Yeah, it's like badminton, but with a low net. Yeah, big ping pong. You felt my hamstring snap? Well, I mean, I broke a wrist for a reason, right? And you can play singles. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. So anyway, I won't bore you all with that. But yes, that's what I do um, on the weekends. Night. I played last night. I play about three or four times a week, so... It's good. It's good exercise. It's good fun. We aren't that uh, that talented, but we can make some. We can make like one of those shots, and then that would be it. <laughs> yeah. So it's like it can be very slow and very fast. So that's why we like it. it. Takes a lot of hand-eye coordination, but the court's small enough to where you can be like big and slow like me, and still like have uh, have fun and be a problem. All right, chat. That's it. That is it for today. All right. Oh, head full of ideas. Our, we have a big ortho thing here, and they just advertise like crazy at the pickleball. Like We're like their number one customer is the ortho, the local ortho. Loves pickleball. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pack. I'm going to, going to uh, ship stuff. Um, we'll catch y'all later. Um, normal week next week, and then I'm going to be on vacation the following week. We'll talk about that next week. Um, but yeah, all streams next week, no streams the following week. Oof, vacation time. All right, I'll catch y'all later. Have a great day.